All right, we're back with expert antiques appraiser Dr. Lori to look at a few more items sent in by you, our viewers. Dr. Lori is joining us from her studio in Bucks County. If you're just joining us, we are playing with new rules. The price is right rule, so don't go over is what we are being told. Yeah, and so far it's one to zero. One to zero with David in the lead. And so, uh, Dr. Lori, we are going to start with Melissa this, this segment with a tea set. Yeah, this particular tea set is a Kutani tea set, which is an area where this particular tea set was made. And you are trying to guess the value of all three pieces. What I like about the three pieces is that that formed finial on the top, um, on the top of each lid, and the fact that they have each lid. Notice that the creamer has a lid too. But there are no cups here, I see, right? No is cups. That... Tea set. No cups here. Uh, you said Kuhani, is that where it was from? Is that? Kutani, K-U-T-A-N-I, and sometimes they're marked Kutani right on the bottom, so it makes it easier. And it's porcelain, and then it has been, of course, decorated with the gray and the, and the red, which are power colors for, of course, the Asians. It's well, beautiful. Well, for everybody, right? I mean, Tiger Wood usually wears red on Sunday when he's playing golf, power colors. It's very, <laughs> it's very beautiful, and it looks like it's in great condition. Beautiful condition. And how old is this, did you say? Good question. It, it dates to about 1900 to 1925. Okay. But it came from Asia. It came from Asia. All right. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. I know, without the cups, but yet those are fully intact. I'm just trying to think of what Dr. Lori has told us before. I, you know, I just feel like people love tea sets. It's a good gift if you're a collector, but. Yeah. I don't know. And now I'm so afraid of going over. So I know. I'm just gonna I guess. Know. Wait, 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 wait. You're not okay. ready. Okay. okay, I'm ready. Go ahead, you go first. I'm guessing 250. I went 175. It's worth 200. <laughs> oh, Heather gets a point. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> All right, that was good. That was a good one. That was educational. All right, next up we have a flag sent in by Thomas. Thomas sent in this flag and it's made of leather. And if you notice, it is handmade. So it's a handmade flag, it's made of leather, and one area, of course, of the flag, one section is the American flag, and the other section is the Taiwanese flag. And can now, you tell us what it says underneath? Yes, I'm going to now read the Taiwan for you. No, I can't. Okay, you know, I don't know. I, I wasn't sure if he... I was said to be really impressed. If I know. I know. Don't if, be too impressed, that I can't do. If Thomas but, sent in any kind of description, you know, of what that says. Thomas told, told me nothing other than a photo. A lot of you do that, and that's fine. And then some of you send me a nice big email and tell me the whole story. I don't care. Each is fine. Do whatever you want. Okay. So you um, don't know the but, story behind this. Like, I don't know the story behind it, but I do know that it was very typical in the middle part of the 1900s or the middle 20th century for folks who were fighting, of course, in Asia to, in fact, create these types of flags as a symbol of unity. So that's what we're seeing here in an, in an effort to try to bring peace together. So mm -hmm. we have the Taiwanese flag, although it is handmade, it's not an actual Taiwanese flag, and the American flag together. Um, we can have that, of course, translated. I didn't translate it. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I, this one is, it's just so original that it's really difficult to, to figure out what it might yeah. be worth. I could see handmade. it in a museum, but. Wait, wait, wait. Not a museum piece. Not a museum. No, no. Okay. No? I mean, I... No. I, I don't think I'd accept this when I was a director of a museum. I don't think I'd say, yeah, oh, let's... Dr. Okay. Lori, I had no idea. All right, idea so this, that is, this is yep. helping me. Oh, is it? It's neat, it's interesting, but not a museum. No, piece. stick with what you had. I had the number two. That's oh. all I had. <laughs> that was <laughs> it. <laughs> well, you won't be over. <laughs> okay. All right, I went 150. I went 152. <gasps> $100. You're both over. Oh. Wow. Okay, so this is going to so turn out to be the tiebreaker. Right rules were going to be easier, but sometimes price is right rules not that easy. Not that easy. Okay. No, no one gets the showcase today. All right, last up yeah. in today's What's It Worth, <laughs> Susan sends in a cheese server. Oh, isn't this okay? Cool? Now you've seen cheese servers before. This one's Susan's. It's transferware. That means the image is transferred on it. It's early 1900. It is ceramic. It's in good condition, not excellent condition. It's in good condition. You take the lid off, notice the holes, which lets the cheese breathe. The cheese goes underneath, and then you put the cover on top of it so the mice can't get in. <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay. it's very unique. Who made it? Is it a famous uh, group? Um, I 
I think it's a Limoges piece. I think it's a Limoges piece. So I think it's made in France. Oh. Okay. okay. But it wasn't hand painted. Sometimes you said the design was printed on it. Yes, it's called transferware, like a piece of wallpaper. They print the image of the flower on it, then they glaze it over and refire it in the kiln. I already wrote down my guess. Okay. Ha -ha. Heather knows what she's doing. Mm. Uh, no, I have no idea, Dr. Lori. I'm learning from you, though, thankfully. Oh, I just, I just, so you're, torn. Now you're I'm, better I, at this than you think. I'm, a, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to go over, so. Are you translating okay. the last one? Maybe that's what you're doing, yes, writing I'm all that translating stuff translating the last one. No. I'm I guess, went, go ahead. $75. I went $120. It's, it's worth $100. Oh. Oh. I like these new rules. I'm not sure I like these new rules, Dr. Lori. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, thank well, you. You can't win if you don't play. That's right. <laughs> Happy That's birthday true. to you, Dr. Lori. Oh, God. We love you. We'll see you next week. Okay. We love you, good. too, and we can't wait. All right, and remember, send us your photos for a future episode with Dr. Lori. Just email them with any info that you can share to PTL at KDK.com. And then watch for Dr. Lori back here as a regular PTL guest every Tuesday. It's a lot of fun. It is. Still, and congratulations on your win. Thank you, David.